So you're thinking about moving to Baltimore, Maryland. We're so excited to show you some of the awesome neighborhoods and suburbs in and around the Baltimore, Maryland area. We're gonna take you around some of the various neighborhoods, show you a lot of the different features and price points so you can get a feel for what Baltimore, Maryland has to offer. We hope you stick around to the end where we always share a little tidbit that you won't find anywhere else about some of the awesome places that we're exploring in and around Baltimore, Maryland. So if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about Baltimore, Maryland, make sure you subscribe below, hit that notification bell, and you can stay current on everything here in the Baltimore, Maryland market. Welcome to Bayview. This neighborhood attracts doctors, nurses, and anybody who's interested in an easy commute both north and south with its proximity to 95 North and 895 South. This neighborhood is known for its awesome front porches, large format living, and you might even find a multi-unit or two if you're interested in living in one area and renting out the other. Let's check out Bayview. Today we're in the Bayview neighborhood. If you haven't heard of Bayview, it might be because it's a quiet neighborhood that recently began being referred to as quote unquote Bayview, thanks to the John Hopkins Bayview campus. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Bayview became known as a healthcare hub. The Bayview Asylum evolved into the Bayview Hospital, which extended its services and facilities over the years. Back in 1938, the hospital was renamed the Eastern Shore State Hospital, and later in 1959, it became part of the John Hopkins Medical Institution and was renamed the John Hopkins Bayview Medical Center. Today, John Hopkins Bayview Medical Center is a leading academic medical center that provides a wide range of healthcare services, drawing many people to the area. This Baltimore neighborhood is home to nurses and doctors who work at Bayview, along with longtime residents who enjoy its close proximity to both northern commuter routes via 95 North and southern routes via 895 South. Homes are mostly wide row homes with small front porches, perfect for residents to enjoy in warm weather. Just 35 minutes to Aberdeen Proving Ground and minutes from 95, the neighborhood is perfect for commuters and employees of John Hopkins Bayview alike. Despite its industrial past, Bayview has a strong sense of community and culture. The neighborhood is home to diverse populations, including longtime residents, healthcare professionals, students, and faculty from nearby institutions such as John Hopkins University and Johns Hopkins Hospital. Community organizations such as churches and local businesses play an active role in shaping the entire neighborhood's identity and fostering community engagement. In recent years, Bayview has become known for its environmental initiatives and green spaces. Nearby Masonville Cove Environmental Education Center, managed by the Maryland Port Administration and the National Aquarium, provides educational programs and outdoor activities focused on environmental conservation and stewardship. Overall, Bayview's history is characterized by its evolution from a rural outpost to an industrial hub to a thriving residential and healthcare community. Today, it continues to be a dynamic and diverse neighborhood with rich cultural heritage and a commitment to healthcare, education, and community development. As we've mentioned in prior videos, Baltimore City offers a school choice program that allows students, along with their guardians, the opportunity to choose the middle and high school that work best for them within the city. The housing options in Bayview are predominantly row homes with a few multi-unit options as well. These multi-units are optimal for house hackers who want to live in one unit and rent out the other to offset their mortgage. Many of the local hospital shift workers find these units convenient for their close commute to Bayview Hospital. Let's check out how far your money will go in a few of the classic Bayview houses. Brand new renovation right here, right across from Hopkins Bayview. So if you're a resident or you're a doctor, a nurse, any emergency services that are working for Hopkins, especially in Bayview. This is right across the street, essentially, right next to the new shopping center. So it's a very convenient location, it gives you a lot for your dollar. It's just under 300,000 in the mid 200,000s. So this is, can be a really good option for you, especially if you're just moving here, potentially just for a little bit, maybe you wanna turn it into a rental property at some point. I love this one, it's a three bed, two and a half bath, okay? So we're gonna check it out here. We come in the front, everything is all updated. We got brand new flooring, we got, it's great flooring, mind you, but it is brand new. Everything here is 
fully updated. We have a nice light above our dining area, which would go right here. And you can see this, this is actually fairly large. They kept a lot of the, the original stuff out of this beautiful chandelier. And now we have an area for, for living. Going in here, we're over to the kitchen, all updated stainless steel appliances, new backsplash, new countertops, new everything. This is beautiful. And then we come back here, we have our half bathroom, which is nice. And then this does in fact have parking. So you can park out front on the street or it does have its own parking. So you come down the alley and then you can park right back here. That's nice. It looks like you can fit maybe, you can definitely fit just one, at least one car, but maybe two depending, maybe one in a motorcycle. For all you bikers out there. All right, now we're gonna to go to the basement. We've got this nice exposed brick, really well done, completely coated. This is a pretty nice area. You can entertain down here. You can put a nice TV over here. Gives you a lot of options. The washer dryer is down here, which is nice. It has its own designated area. And then you come back here. All the appliance, all the mechanical stuff is updated and brand new. <clears throat> it has this nice like storage area. This is where the sub pump is and everything, but this leads right out the back. So this is a nice little storage area. I like how they've done that. And then you have a full bathroom back here. So this is really nice. Completely redone. Beautiful. Very nice. Good, we're gonna come out here, and there's also another entrance to the to the outside here. So if you pile it up, all your stuff are in here and you can't get to the door, don't worry, you can still get out this door. So that's nice. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. Now we're upstairs. So, mind you, I said two and a half bathrooms, right? We've already seen the half, we've already seen one of the full ones. So that means there's only one bathroom up here. So. Three bedrooms, and one bathroom. Three people. Could be tough depending on your, your living situation, or it could just be you. So let's check it out. Come up the stairs, and right here is our bathroom. Look at this bathroom. This is really nice. Nice gold and white. Love that. It is a tub. So you do have your tub if you have kids. But I like the gold, it's really nice. It's a nice touch. Come out of here. I'm assuming this is the master, it probably has the highest ceiling because it's in the front. A lot of these homes in Baltimore slope in the back because they're like a, a tar roof, essentially. A little closet there, not bad. Pretty big. You can definitely fit a king size bed in. We're gonna come out here. This is one of our bedrooms. So this is pretty small, right? So this is more so a nursery or an office. But it does have a nice beautiful window there so you get a ton of natural sunlight. Sometimes in these middle rooms, if there are middle rooms, you might not even get a, um, a real window, but that's a real, full size window, so that's nice. And then here to the back bedroom, this is small as well. So this may be if you are a resident or a nurse and you just really need a place to crash because you guys are working all the time. So maybe, you got, maybe it might be an idea to get a home and then get a couple of roommates and house hack. That's a really good option. I'm not gonna bother you and show you a bunch of the older styles. This is a brand new one. This is a, exactly what they look like when they're updated. Lots of good features, very convenient location. You can get on to 95, 895, and then you can get down to you know Canton and Fells Point in a heartbeat.
All right, so if it's nine days or 90 days, and you're looking to make a move to Baltimore, Maryland, or you're looking to make a move within Baltimore, Maryland, shoot us a text, give us a call, and we're here to make your move to Baltimore or in and around Baltimore as smooth as possible. Catch us on the next one.